Guys, welcome back to our series on budget deficits and fiscal policy. In this video, we're going to talk about tax smoothing. So in this video, we're going to be discussing the perspective of Barrow 1979 through Romer's text in which governments choose deficits optimally so as to minimize the distortion from taxes. In general, there is a trade-off between the revenue raised and the distortion created from taxes. A distortion means uh, dead weight lost produced by a tax. That's what is mean by the word distortion here. It goes without saying that we are going to be talking about the case where these taxes are non-lump sum. To start modeling a government with the goal of minimizing present lifetime value of distortions, uh, we set up the following problem, which is minimizing uh, this you know, series of uh, what we call um, cost of distortions right at time t right from t goes from zero to infinity subject to our standard government budget constraint in discrete time um what we have uh down here is that we have this c term which you know is not in our objective problem right but it would be there uh, we refer to that as our cost of distortion y t is a deterministic path of output meaning that there's a certain amount known with certainty of what output will be produced at you know every period t TT is the tax revenue at time T, and F of TY, um, that is the deadweight loss produced as a function of the tax share of output. And uh, D naught, right, is the initial debt, or what we call our initial bonds issued at time zero. And GT is a deterministic path of government expenditures. So the choice variable that we have here is our path of taxes here. Um, Solving our government's problem, we have the following Lagrangian. So we just set up here. Um, one of the things that uh, you guys may be a little bit uh, confused about is that I put a minus sign here, right? But it really doesn't matter. You know, it could be a plus or a minus sign. Uh, the result will be the same. Um, I just put a minus sign there just to make things a little bit clearer. Taking our first order condition with respect to um, the tax revenue at time t and tax revenue at time t plus one, and solving them together, we go and we find that our tax revenue is minimized when our derivative of our distortions with respect to our tax share of output, which is t, t over yt, right, at time t, is equal to the same thing uh, in, in the next period. And this is only true when the tax share is constant. This result means that distortions are minimized when the tax share of output is constant across periods. So when thinking about tax smoothing in, in an uncertain environment, uncertainty meaning in terms of the stream of income that we're going and having, or the stream of output that we have here, we're just putting an expectation operator here where yt now is a uncertain variable and our constraint is just going to be the same. The solution to this problem is similar. Just plug in the Lagrangian and we get the following result of this uh, t all over y, right, which is our tax share of output at uh, time t, is going to be equal to the expected uh, tax share of value at time t plus 1 based on time t's uh, current impression. So this thing here, right, this is um, a little bit of a certainty equivalence uh, type of idea, meaning that tax distortions um, are minimized when there are no predictable changes in the tax rate. So tax rates follow a random walk here. So the main takeaway that I want you guys to go and walk away with this idea of tax smoothing is that we can evaluate um, efficient tax policy here in terms of its a production of this deadweight loss here, which we can go and think about. So this is our uh, third part in our series on budget deficits and fiscal policy. I will see you in the next video where we talk about strategic debt accumulation. Take care.